Hello and welcome to another episode of Rate My Cigar. So tonight we have something incredibly special to smoke. Now, I do quite enjoy a Bolivar from time to time and this is an LCDH New Gold Medal. So a very, very expensive cigar uh, and a very special cigar. So like I say, I, I do really enjoy the old Bolivar. I don't know about you, Darren. And uh, this one has actually been on my radar to try for a very, very long time. If now, I'm honest, if yeah. I'm honest, I've only ever had one Bolivar. Am I supposed? I don't know exactly when that was. Am I supposed to just cut the end off and smoke it like that yeah, with the wrapper through, on? Yeah, through the wrapper. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, now I've only ever had one Bolivar, and that was when we were I think it was in Mudderford. Yeah, set. We I set, remember it, set. and it, it went tragically for you. <laughs> oh, it put me off smoking another one. I'll be honest. Um, oh, I'm just, I'm just over that. So that is a nicely made cigar. However, there is one thing here. Now, Darren, being the good man that he is, decided to knock both of our cigars off the table tonight. So, um, it unfortunately, wasn't there was quite a significant da uh, amount of damage to each of How them. How have you got the labels left on yours? Because you can slide them off first. If you're smart, anyway, you know. <laughs> you want me to try and embarrass myself now on YouTube? <laughs> okay, so yeah, basically, uh, Darren unfortunately uh, dropped both of ours off the table. So what I've actually done is I have used some of this, El Liquidor Credo, which is basically a uh, cigar glue. Now, obviously we've put a link for this in the description of the uh, video. So please do check it out. If you haven't got any, absolutely buy some. Tiny little bottle, but a little bit goes a very, very long way. Well, that's, and that's actually the second bottle I've ever bought. Now, I bought that bottle that's like, over a year I, ago. I was just about to say, that's a long time ago. Yeah. And how many times have you used dropped it? dropped a lot of cigars. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've actually got arthritis in my hands and um, I dropped stuff and... There you go, fixed it, mate. You're welcome. <sighs> anyway. So yeah, as I was saying, uh, unfortunately there was quite a significant amount of damage on both of these cigars. So we have glued them. Uh, I'm hoping that they are going to stay in situ. Because um, like I say, <laughs> I've been looking forward to this for ages and uh, finally I get one and Darren's cracked it. So yeah, firstly, thank you very much, Darren. <laughs> secondly, let's light the cigar. So, in fact, it would actually help if I cut it first, wouldn't it? Do you want to borrow a cut? Yeah, I will do. I'm getting carried away with myself. That's how excited I am to have a go on this. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna, gonna light this now. Um, so, I, go on, I'll, I'll let you talk. Right. I was you like the say, sound of your yeah, own voice. I was only gonna say, so this is basically a six and a half inch by 48 ring gauge. So it's, it's quite a large cigar. Um, a very, it's a full body cigar as well, full body Cuban. So Cuban wrapper, Cuban binder, Cuban filler. Um, Price wise, yeah, they're about £110 in the UK that I've found so far. So, last month, the dearest one I could find was um, was 95 Really? And in the last month, they've gone up the extra 15 Wow. So, yeah, they are definitely not a cheap cigar, um, but yeah, I don't mind a treat every now and then, to be honest. And uh, I've been looking forward to one of these for quite some time, so I'm definitely excited to try this. Um, the only thing is, with regards to these, we can't we can't fault the cigars because like Chuck said he drops them earlier. And, I drop I drop I drop and them. because yeah. because he damaged the end we had to use this cigar glue. So we can't we can't, you know, complain about Chuck. What I like Chuck. about you, you're so honest, Darren. <laughs> <laughs> right. I mean don't feel bad about it, honestly. I, 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 don't, try, I, 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 try I forgive you. Oh, it smells lovely. Here we go. And um, interesting, I'll just say that glue, um, I don't know how many times I've used it, but it's so many times where I've brought cigars home from, you know, from the, from the shop, or I've had them in a suitcase, or I've gone to smoke one out in the garden and, you know, put it on the table and it's, you know, and then brought it back in and it's, you know, it's got a little nick in it or something like that. Yeah, that the only temperature thing. fluctuates. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, And that course. cigar glue is very good because you can just paint on a couple of little coats and it doesn't affect the taste of the cigar. And no, definitely not. And yeah, so I've literally just purchased a new bottle and I think I got it on, um, oh God, I have to look when I got it. I'll put a link in the description, but um, mm. I think it was like, I think it was like nine to 12 quid. Nice. It wasn't much, but you're yeah. buying the next one. The thing is, not being funny, nine to 12 quid, it, although it's a tiny bottle, 
it goes a really, really, mm. really long way. Like you will literally, you will say, not to mention, not be funny, nine, 10 quid, hundred and something pounds. If you've just fixed that, and it's taken up effectively three or four pence of Well, not even that, because Spot on. that must have done at least 100 cigars. Yeah, for sure. Um, because not I, that Darren's clumsy or anything. Absolutely not. Because the amount of chuck that <laughs> uses it and damages my cigars. Uh, one thing I will mention. So straight away, the draw on this is absolutely sublime. Like, hmm. perfect. It's tight, but it's very, very, very nice. And it has a real nice smoke production for it, if that makes sense. It's not a massive smokes production, but it's about what you want. Um, with the flavours I'm getting from this, it's uh, it's very, 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 Spicy very Spicy and rich. creamy, rich. Mm. Earthy. Mm. Definitely. Has like a really strong, rich tobacco flavour, which like you definitely come to like recognise in Bolivar mm. cigars, that's for it's certain. Creamy. I and was nuts in there as well. Yeah, it's not a peanut, but it's close. Yeah. Um, it's quite so interesting. It's, it's, it's interesting, there's, there's like a dry note there as well. It's not like mm. a really um, like uh, wet mouth feel, if that makes sense. Like the smoke has got like a definite dry hint to it as well. Mm. Yeah. This cigar would be very, very good to um, sort of pair with mm. um, pair with, the, pair with the whiskey, I think. Oh, wow. Or rum. Okay, I've just got some interesting flavours coming through this, and that is really, really good. Wow, the richness is just like phenomenal. It's 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 in between strong, but it's it's like you know when you you know when you go to the supermarket and you buy this fruit cake, and then somebody makes a homemade fruit cake, and you just taste those flavours because they're they're just they're just really good. They're, wow, do you know what I mean? That's the difference. I cannot get over how strong the Cuban flavour is in this. Like, you know, with Cubans, you just get like that overwhelmingly like sort of like florally earthy. Um, yeah, wow. That is incredible. Is, this, really, is, this, like is this tobacco aged or anything like that? Because I don't know the age of this cigar. Honestly, I'm not sure, but it tastes so smooth and rounded. I was really, going to say, really this isn't it? Smoothness is like phenomenal. Doesn't honest. taste like a young cigar at all. Oh, absolutely not. Definitely I need not. to touch this one up, but again, that's Chuck's fault for dropping it. I just need to let these guys know the truth. Wow. I will say, I have not had a cigar, a Cuban in particular, which has had that stronger flavour. I'm gonna say almost ever, like it's like absolutely filling in your mouth, like the flavor. It's not just your mouth, it's everything. That's crazy, absolutely crazy, wow. I'm used to like stronger flavors from Bolivar in general, but like that is something else, like absolutely something else. So the spice on this is, it's a very, I'm going to have to touch my mouth again as well. Very, unfortunately, mine hasn't lit very straight, but I have a feeling it's just where it's been dropped, unfortunately. It's very... Yeah, I, can't, I can't pronounce the spice, but it's... It's like a tangy type of spice, but it's not. And it's, no, I know what you mean. Yeah, there's, there's a definite tang in there, for sure. Yeah, and I've had tang in cigars before that have been like a sharp tang that hasn't been that pleasant, but it's okay. This is a different type of spice and a different type, type of tang, I'll be honest. Wow. Yeah, that's really, really, really good. Very, very good. I've got to say, it's one of the richest, smoothest tobaccos I think I've tasted so far. Mm. Like, as in, like, one of, like, the strength of the tobacco flavour, if that makes sense, while still being smooth. Like, I've had strong cigars before, which are, like, uh, the tobacco taste is very mm. full on, but they're always, like, very rough-edged, if that makes sense, whereas this is just, like, silky smooth. So the, I'm at the end of the final third. I think Chuck is actually a little bit ahead of me. Yeah, I'm, just um, in, I'm into the second third now. And the flavours are changing a little bit. I'm gonna I'm gonna let you guys know how much Chuck is enjoying this cigar. He won't shut up about it. And, <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a bit. It, uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm giving your review. Just hang all on. All right, go on. Hang on. Go on. Go on. Um, the flavours in his cigar are amazing. He can't believe how Strong rounded. Layer. Shh, shh, shh. Look, this is your review. You've got to listen to it. Yeah, I got it. Right. You're rounded, how strong they are, how 
amazing this is. This is a stronger cigar than he would normally smoke the Cuban, but he's really enjoying it. It's probably yeah. the best cigar he's had in a long time. So what do you think? Do you think that's pretty accurate? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't get me wrong, like, I'm not gonna say it's my favorite Cuban I've had, um, but, well, so far, I've still got quite a way to go yet. Um, but flavor-wise, like, I have not had a Cuban which has got such bold but smooth flavors. It is good, it's, it is good. It's very, very good. It is good. The spice is definitely there, although it has backed off a bit. Now I'm into the second, third. I've noticed, like, it's, it's mm. super, super smooth. There's, like, spice, cream, uh, there's woody notes. There's, like, a nutty almond uh, flavor. So like that that they... typical, like, almost, almost florally nutty uh, mm. Cuban flavor you normally get. Mm. I've just had a hint of floral just then, and it's it's, it's really so strong, smooth it? and super strong. It's it is good. See, this is a little bit stronger than I would like to smoke. Um, and I was sort of saying to Chuck before we started telling our um, thoughts on camera that it's it's a little bit too too much for me. I'm going to use that word as well which Darren told me wasn't an actual oh hang on, hang on. it's got some vegetables it's vegetable. <laughs> yes, it's got some vegetable in there as well. I like how you want to imagine you know what that was <laughs> only because Darren looked up and goes okay it's actually a word <laughs> but the thing is from doing this channel um and cigars that I've I've sort of guessed now I know that is a flavor I know what that flavor is you know it exists now no, yeah forget the exist part but I'm just saying it's yeah. now I you know and yeah the cigar I actually had um a couple of nights ago um, what is it called? The one I showed, is it? Is it Horatio. Hor that Horatio two. Horatio one. H1, yeah. Now that cigar there, <coughs> that had a lot of these vegetable notes in, and it was just, it was actually pretty good. Um, there, is, there is a lot of them in here. Is, there's a definite earthy, vegetal. Um, this cigar just, just shouts maturity. <coughs> yeah, it does, 100%. Maturity, yeah. that's what I'm getting from this. Yeah, like the cigar's mature and you have to be mature as well to be able to cope with the amount of flavour it produces. <laughs> it is, it is mm. very bold, that's mm. for sure. This is this is a cigar you need to have something to eat beforehand. Yeah. Because... Don't get me wrong, it's not... It's, it's not strong... Well, so far, I don't think it's no. massively what strong I mean, in the nicotine. In the what sense, I mean is, like, if you have something to eat beforehand, um, I think... Because... Uh, when a cigar's got really good flavours and it's just like a banging cigar, I have something to eat beforehand. I appreciate that and I appreciate it a lot more. And that's why I'm. That's why I would say that. Not because it's strong. The tobacco, it's not Funny massively enough, strong. The flavours in this would probably pair. <laughs> it's a bit of a weird pairing, but like I said just now when we were chatting off camera. Barnacles. No, <laughs> no, it, it would. Pair. <laughs> It would pair really well with like a nice steak or something like that. Like, do you know what I mean? It's got that's, like what, a, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, like it's a, got like, like a, a, something really a meaty. savory, meaty. Um, like the, um, that, oh, what is it? This, they do um, the other, other Cuban. H. Upman. Yep. That Maduro one. H. Upman Maduro. I haven't done any, done any, I've tried one of those. You have. It's quite a meaty oh, cigar, yeah. Okay. I'm definitely going to do one of them now. I smoke this. I really want to smoke one of them. No, I haven't tried it. Yet. I've still got it. Have you? Yeah, I've still got it. I have not. How tried did you it like yet. it? Because <laughs> I've not tried it. Not a lot. <laughs> um, yeah, no, yeah, I haven't tried that one yet. But really that is good. actually sat waiting for me. To you try. need to, you need to have you need to have like meat or something beforehand. It's a meaty cigar. It's yes, it's actually quite a good cigar. Mm. And I'm getting that sort of sense from this as well. It sounds for, ridiculous, but this would be a really nice sunny day cigar. Do you know what I mean like yeah. like a holiday cigar? For all you guys who can see this, we've uh, we've just done another uh, another video for the channel uh, where we were playing with this and reviewing this. So check that out. It's uh, our general discussion video um, that would be on our channel. Just thought I'd let everyone know really. Um, the Patreon. Yeah, as to why it suddenly picked uh, arrived in yeah. the middle of the table out of nowhere. And it wasn't there. aliens. It wasn't aliens. Trust me. <laughs> If it was, they would have taken you away, mate. <laughs> they wouldn't have taken me away. They'd have taken you home. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> um, Patreon. Yep. So as we've said, well, I said as we said, we've basically in the last set of videos we've basically made, which haven't been uploaded to the channel yet, we've been chatting about the Patreon. Um, obviously, at the moment we do this completely for you guys. We don't make a penny out of it. Literally, it's just we enjoy smoking cigars. We enjoy reviewing them. It's just something we've just sort of. I don't know. We've sort of. Somehow it's happened, I'm not really sure how it's ended up happening, but we just end up reviewing cigars every single week. So 
basically we've set up a Patreon now, so hey. there will be, uh, if you want to have a look, uh, there, there'll be a link in the description below. Mm. Um, and yeah, basically we'll be uploading uh, a lot of content to there, including stuff which we won't be uploading on YouTube. So uh, if you do get a chance to check it out, obviously please do, it would be appreciated. Um, yeah, because also YouTube have, has actually taken down a couple of our videos. And um, also they're doing it to a lot, basically, any videos on YouTube now which are either guns, tobacco, alcohol, anything in that remit is being demonetized and taken off YouTube basically. So like there's, there's been quite a lot of cigar channels which have been talking about this and obviously complaining uh, because there are a lot of other videos which are probably worse are still allowed to be on there but <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot I'm not going to go down that rabbit there's hole. A, there's a lot of videos in there that shouldn't be on there. Yeah, but, but this is really bad. <laughs> yeah, um, but no, this this is very dangerous. You know, I mean, I was you came round earlier, um, and I was sat on the sofa. Um, I was quite down and annoyed today, wasn't I? I think um, quite stressed. And that's as why you I came round, mate, to cheer you up. And <laughs> and then I felt worse because he turned up. And no, but seriously, now I've had a cigar, I'm actually quite relaxed. I'm feeling a lot better. Um, you know, it's just work stress, life stress, you know, and just, it's just what everyone gets. But yeah. with a cigar- It's funny because like, you always think, oh, it must just happen to me. But then every person you talk to always tell you the same sort of story. Yeah, I mean, you know, you know everyone I'm deals- I'm sure you'll have it as well. <laughs> everyone, everyone deals with their own crap as it was. Um, you know, I've got more crap in this pile and you guys probably got more crap in this pile. And then it's it get all the. I oh, see. I like to have multiple piles. <laughs> You've got I piles. You've got piles. Multiple. <laughs> You've got multiple piles. Multiple piles. Have you seen the doctor? <laughs> no, I haven't. No. <laughs> oh dear. But yeah, that's why I quite enjoy coming over on a Friday and having a nice cigar and sitting down and having a chat. So mm. yeah, definitely, definitely a relaxed time. But I mean, like back to the cigar. It is really good. It is it's, really good. It's a bit, it's a bit more spicy. I'm at the sort of like a four or five on the See, spice. Just by me smoking this and like uh, having done so many videos with you and so much cigar smoking with you, I automatically know what you like and what you don't like. And as soon as I smoke this, I, like don't be wrong, our flavors are genuinely, like generally, sorry, quite the same. Yeah. But there's certain, certain flavors which i know you're like no not massive fan of or mm. oh it's all right but even though i've got some of them flavors in this cigar it's still a, yeah, a I, very I good cigar it up straight away and i'm like right i really like that i really like that but there's that note and i know darren's going to be on the fence about mm. it and darren goes oh, i'm not too sure about the spice and i was like i knew you're going to say that <laughs> <laughs> but that's the same with that horatio that i smoked the other day on my own yeah um and i've got another one and i said you know and that's the first time i've probably a long time i've said look you need to try this cigar and because you could actually, I just knew where that cigar was from by smoking it. And yeah, it's, you, it's pretty evident with Nicaraguan cigars for sure. But do you know when you smoke some of them, they are sometimes a little bit dry, you feel. Yeah. You don't get that with that cigar. And it was just, that was perfect. The draw was great. The build was great. The, the over, everything was brilliant about it. And the flavors were so rounded and it was like it was an aged cigar, but it wasn't. And it was a cigar. I just said, Chuck, you need to try it. Even though it wasn't the most <coughs> best cigar I've ever smoked nowhere near but it was a really nice smoke and I did enjoy it and I know for a fact he will like that cigar probably I like a lot of cigars to be fair well that's because you're you know you're cigar just, snob yeah you're just a snob <laughs> but yeah no these like if you like Cubans but you also like very earthy vegetal style like slightly more um the nuts are changed on this. Yeah, they, yeah, definitely, definitely. Now it's like a smooth, creamy nut. <laughs> what? What's funny? <laughs> oh, fuck it out. Now it's like a real nice, smooth, creamy nut. <laughs> Being completely immature. What's new? Huh? What's new? Nothing's new, I'm just saying. <laughs> no, but it's really good. I'm just, the spice is, all of a sudden, it's like somebody's just turned it off with so a tap. It <laughs> would have been even bad there if you went, no, it's really good. I really do love a nice, smooth, creamy nut. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. So it's almost like somebody's just turned the spice off with a tap. It's all of a sudden now, I do like a nice, creamy nut. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh, 
Uh, no, seriously, this is very. This is nut in this is very good. It's like a. It is very creamy and smooth. Um, yeah, it's it's just all of a sudden changed completely. And interestingly, my burn issues are sort of sort of, uh, sorting themselves out as well, which is nice because I was having horrendous. Like, don't be wrong. Yeah. The construction on a whole, draw wise, fantastic, but mine mm. kept burning like God, that. You're actually on it, aren't you? Yeah. I'm enjoying it. For the first time, while, I'm actually beating Darren, which is quite impressive. Because Darren normally chugs them down. I have to, I have to like slow right down towards the end. But they're wrong. I always up. purposely try and smoke Cuban slow because like, you always get so much better flavours out of them. But I seem to be getting through this one quite mm. quickly. The, uh, and interestingly, the, where I said there wasn't a massive nicotine content, now I'm starting to feel it a little bit. Yeah, the, the nicotine's there. The ash on this is very flaky. Yeah, it's it's very flaky. I'm yeah, this, it's obviously using very nicely mature. An aged tobacco is yeah, this for that's certain. Yeah. Definitely from them flavours they must yeah, be. You, you would not get a cigar this smooth unless it has some really, really nice aged tobacco in it. And this, just coming up to the end of the second third. Um, I'm into my last third now for sure. I'm coming up to it. Now this this cigar has been, it's been a phenomenal cigar. I did not want to smoke it. I wanted to smoke anything else really. And that's me being honest. Um, so far, the spice in the first third was a little bit too much from what I like it's not that I can't handle it but it's what I prefer um, but the second third it was like somebody turned off with a tap they whacked up that floral note and the cream and the cream yeah. and my creamy nuts <laughs> felt really good on my tongue <laughs> wow you are something else he said stop saying silly stuff to make him laugh but I can't help it because I just, this is a really Mate, good you've got cigar. to talk about stuff you like. I mean, that's fine. People get that. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I like cigars. But no, honestly, guys, this this cigar, uh, so far, my God, I'm I'm glad, I'm glad I smoked this so yeah, far. definitely. And, you know. It's getting a lot more earthy in the last third. That's yeah? for certain. Is it yeah. good? Is it good earth, though? Yeah, it is, yeah. But it is very, like, if you like earthy cigars, this is definitely one for you. Like it is definitely very, very earthy. Very strong, bold, earthy, really bold, strong tobacco flavor. See, this 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 smokes like a Cuban, but the flavors Funny in that. it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but what I mean is the flavors, the the, the notes you get from this, the feeling you get from this. Yeah. This is like it isn't. It's not 100% Cuban in my head, you know. But Jesus. It just goes to show what they can do when they want to. Yeah. And what some of these other cigars, the, the higher end cigars that they're producing could be like. Yeah. And it so does a lot of them, a lot of them are very light, like much lighter in body. Definitely. Whereas this is yeah. much fuller in like. I mean, it's not a full, but this is a medium bodied cigar. A medium to full, yeah. Oh, see, I've got, I've got it, a medium at the might, moment. See, in the first two thirds, I thought it was more of a medium, but as I'm going into the last section, I'm gonna say it's more full, but I think it's just generally due to like the fact that the flavors are really bold, um, like the, just everything's just getting stronger as I get into the last third. If that yeah. makes sense. I mean, I'm I'm looking forward to the next third, so let's just smoke it. So I'm coming up to the uh, the final third. Uh, well, I'm coming up to the nub. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's been a long day here. <laughs> so. I'm at the nub of mine, Darren's actually overtaken me again, which is not a surprise because he usually does. And um, flavour wise, it is absolutely ramped up in the flavour department, like, which I didn't think was possible because it's quite full flavour to begin with. I was, I'm, I've been on the fence with this the whole way. Um, I think, I think I just want to, I want to say that I just, I still don't know, but the thing is, I'm going to smoke another one because it, it's been very, very good. The I said about the first third, the second third, where it's like somebody turned a tap off to that spice. Coming up to the end of the final third, the tap's been turned on a little bit, and then it was turned off, and then it was turned on. It's so yeah, it's wavering in and out throughout the smoke. So for sure. for, with that, I don't I don't mind that so much. But so I mean, like in this last third, what have I witnessed? Like flavor-wise, obviously it's an absolute flavor bomb. Like it is mainly earth and leather and really really rich tobacco like 
spice, uh, dark coffee. Uh, so now I've got rich, really rich earth. It's yeah. just like that flits in out the whole time. Yeah. Right? The earth is definitely like a very main the floral of this. bombs through this as well that just almost explode in your mouth. Yeah, and the mineral, like you get mm. a lot of sort of like vegetal mineral notes as well. Mm. Uh, definitely cream. I've had hazelnut, which has evolved from almonds. Um, the cream, the cream, and that it's just so creamy yeah, and woody, yeah, nutty. Just... It's yeah, it is, it is a very very nice smoke. Again, I wouldn't put it top of the board. Uh, we will rate it shortly, but I, I wouldn't put it top I'm hard of the board. But it's, I'm hard, it's I'm, good. I'm hard. This is hard to actually say what my favourite part of it was because. It's just been really good all the way through, and for it's me, really it, it was the first into second third was like the the key. The first thing. to second. Yeah, in between the first and the second third. So mine was mine was the second to third. Oh really? Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Mm. I think the only reason I quite enjoyed between the first and second third on this is like the flavors were a smidge lighter, but like the floral note for me kicked in a bit more, like the sort of more that's florally I, that's cumin. When I got, that's when I got mine in the second. Yeah. yeah. That's what I've enjoyed the Do most. You know what? This. Let's rate this cigar. So this uh, LCDH Bolivar, I think it's going to go here. So there we go, we've rated it. It's fairly high up on the Cuban board. Uh, like I said, I didn't think it was going to go near the top uh, and it hasn't. But uh, to be honest, it has been a very, very nice smoke. I think this is in the right sitting. This would be exceptional. Like. For instance, like if you're in a pub garden on a sunny day and you had like just ordered like a steak dinner and stuff, like yeah. what a combination. That would be good. Really, really, really good. The only thing is rating this with our new rating system is a bit difficult. So if you want to grab as a have I enjoyed this smoke and would I would I want to smoke another one? Absolutely. Absolutely. I would definitely try another one for sure. But the thing is, I'm going to say yeah, I, now. I, I, I know what you're going to say. I, I know exactly what you're going right. to say before you say it. The, the price. price. Yeah. <laughs> right, £110. And right. I have to say, uh, in my honest opinion, price-wise, I would not buy one at that money. But the, reason, the only reason being is I can buy three or four Cubans that are re really good. Like, I could literally... I mean, my favourite Cuban so far we've smoked on this channel is 70 quid. That there... You could almost have two, almost. I, I, I'd buy two of those. Yeah, 100%. Um, you know, but I can I could literally buy. I'm not being funny. Upman Connoisseur A, I could. You could have three of those, a three Upman Connoisseur A's, or one of these. I would choose the Connoisseur A's. I have to say, like, exactly. Being honest, I would. So um, yeah, great cigar. Price point. Yeah. Uh, would I have it in my humidor? Yeah, I'd have it. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Right. Definitely. Would I ha Would I recommend? Hundred percent. Thumbs up. I would go as far as to say I would like to try another one in a different sitting out in the sun. I think mm. would be yeah. I mean, there is one thing that I'm I'm in two minds and doing. I just let you guys know what I'm thinking of doing. And if you let me know what you think, if enough people say they want to see it, I'll do it. That'll be my excuse. Oh god, what's it going to be? <laughs> I'm actually thinking about going to Asia and trying loads of Asian cigars and literally sitting on the on the beach having a cigar and stuff like this the only people who are going to say no to that is because they want to be there as well <laughs> i would as well <laughs> when i went to japan i loved it out there asia is awesome yeah. like um, if you go to the right country and i've amazing. never been before that's what i'm thinking of doing so if you guys th think that would be a good idea and you'd like to see those videos if i get enough people saying that they'd like to see them i'll do it there you go and that means i've got to do it <laughs> get, get your comments in <laughs> um, but on a serious note that's been an amazing cigar yeah um, definitely a cigar i didn't want to smoke now that's a cigar i want to smoke again um so i think that's the end of the uh, end of the review yeah all we can do is say join us on patreon there's going to be a load of stuff on there that we don't you don't see on the youtube um we're also going to be doing videos where we're we're actually talking to you guys in the comments um, talking about your comments and stuff that's going to be in the patreon as well so look out for those videos and give us a thumbs up a like